it was quality, it had reached an audience and it should be preserved. Now I don't know what's going to happen now under this new coalition, I've looked at the 70 page coalition document between the Conservatives and the Tories, the new government, and it says that the BBC must be looked after basically, but it doesn't specifically mention Six Music. But I'd like to introduce you to a man now who's been untroubled by democracy for the last few months. I don't know what you think of the House of Lords, but I can tell you that I've recently discovered there are some very, very earnest, concerned and professional people in there who make it their business to know about the media in this country, to know about the new digital age and to protect Six Music. I want to welcome back now somebody who took the trouble to came, come along last time and speak to us when MPs were not available, fair enough, Saturdays are in the constituency. He knows all about the licensing laws as well, the music licensing laws. He knows why we can't have all the bands on today that offered to come down and play for us. Like the specials, like the magic numbers. We're still hoping to get Eliza Carthy, but please give a big six music welcome to our supporter in the House of Lords, the Liberal Democrat peer, Lord Clement Jones. That introduction, Liz, I hope I live up to it. Uh, uh, it's uh, fantastic. The new listening figures for uh, uh, Six Music are just incredibly heartening, and uh, it just shows uh, that Greg Dyke was right when he said that as soon as Six Music was threatened, we were actually going to be able to save it. And I really believe that as the groundswell is growing uh, of listeners who are writing into the BBC Trust and are making their views known that we're going to save Six Music. I'm quite certain of that.